Thanks speaking today with another compiling tutorial for Keyword 0.7, this time on macOS. In case you don't know what compiling is, compiling is transforming human readable source code uh, into machine executable format. In the case of macOS or in T-Words, transforming the C++ source code in which the game is written into an executable app that you can run on your macOS computer. Um, you need the step if you want to compile a custom modification. Most modifications are not compiled for macOS and then you can compile it yourself if you know how to do it. Or if you want to develop some T-Words modifications, you need the step as well to produce uh, something that you can execute. Uh, okay, so let's get started. MacOS is also a Unix flavor, so it's pretty similar to Linux, but it does some things the Apple way. So let's get started the Apple way. There is this um, thing, this IDE, Xcode. So go to command space or type command space and then type in App Store to go to the App Store. And there you can search for Xcode, which is the <coughs> MacOS IDE, which includes all the developer tools. It's four gigabytes though, and most likely you don't need the IDE. Um, there are plenty of alternatives to use for coding, but you need the developer tools that are used uh, by this IDE. But if you don't want to install the full four gigabytes, I think it's possible to just install the tools. If you open your terminal, so command space again and type in terminal. And there you can execute Xcode um, select, Xcode dash select dash dash install. Um, then click install and accept this and it's successfully installed. Click done here. Okay, now press command W to close the window or close your terminal however you want. Then uh, command N to create a new one. Um, this will restart your terminal and now we can check if the installation succeeded. Type in for example GCC, the C compiler, this should say um, error, no input files, it should not say uh, command not found, okay? So make sure it says no input files and everything worked fine. Okay, cool. So the next step is installing our um, packet manager and we are going to use a brew in this case so go to brew.sh and there's this one liner that will install the thing so copy this and open a terminal again whoops terminal and paste it in so as you can see it will execute Ruby which is pre-installed on every macOS system and then use curl to um, get the install script uh, from GitHub and then it will execute it in a subshell. Okay, so just that you know what is happening here. Alrighty, this is a bit big. Um, okay, that's all fine. Then press return. And this will take some time now. It will download the install script, as I said, and then it will execute it in as a Ruby script. And this thing is, uh, as I said already, it's a packet manager, so it will help us installing our dependencies. All right, so now it seems to be installed successfully. So let's close the, um, the terminal again and then open a new one. And now we should be able to type in brew. And this should uh, look something like this. Maybe my font is a little bit big, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, so again, it should not say brew command not found. If that's the case, make sure you typed everything correctly and so on. So this is, this is now set up and working. Um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's all we need as dependencies for now. Let's go to uh, github.com slash tworlds slash tworlds. And there we can 
Uh, this is a bit big. Okay. Yeah, like in the other videos, I don't know if you saw the other videos, but um, like in the other uh, the compiling processes, we go to installing dependency step. And here, as you can see, we are going to use brew as our packet manager, and then we are going to install CMake, FreeType, and SDL2. So just copy that line, paste it into the terminal. I get some errors here because I had the tools already installed on a different user. So you should not get errors here. It should um, take some while and install the things. Oh, sorry, this is the most chaotic tutorial ever. But yeah, just copy in that command and at the end it should say uh, everything worked fine and so on. Okay, cool. And then we go back to the site. All right. Um, then we can download the repository. Make sure you have git installed. So type in git. I'm, yeah, also it should display as some output and not say command not found. I'm not sure if Git is uh, part of the developer tools already. So if Git is not installed, just try uh, typing brew install and then Git. This should fail in my case again, but in yours it should work. Okay, cool. So um, I like to put all my source code into a folder at the desktop. So let's navigate there, similar to the Linux video. So CD desktop and then make a directory there, call it git, mkd for make directory, cd into git. As you can see with print working directory, we are now at the desktop and we created the folder git here. Alrighty, um, now we can git clone and we copy that from the website here, uh, from github git clone and recurse submodules. Okay. So this will download the source code. Yeah, while this is downloading, uh, we can look at the next steps and I can think about if we, ah yeah, okay. So uh, there are two build systems currently supported by T-Worlds. One is BAM and one is CMake. Uh, I'm going to show you both ways. So BAM is a custom build system, which is mostly used by T-Worlds created by the creator of T-Worlds and CMake is pretty much the industry standard for C and C++ projects. Um, okay, so let's go to github.com slash matrix slash BAM mm, where we can download the BAM source code. Just copy that URL and did this finish? Okay, so this finished. Um, so if you type in ls, we have our T-word source code now here. And then we type in git space clone space and then the URL uh, https colon slash slash github.com slash matrix slash bam. And this will download the bam build system source code. Uh, this is pretty small project, so that's fast. Then we can cd into bam. And with ls, we can list the uh, files here. And we have uh, make unix sh, that's what will work on macOS. So type in dot slash make and use the tab key to autocomplete. So make sure that you're in the correct directory. And if the autocompletion works, something went wrong. Okay. So type in make unix sh. And then it will compile the build system. Um, all right, so we have that now. Mm. As you can see, we have BAM and T-words here. Uh, wait, it's not start, it's open dot. Uh, open dot to open a file browser in the current directory. So this is how it looks like uh, if, you, if you're more visual uh, type of uh, user. Uh, we have our T-words source code here and we have our BAM here and that's all on the desktop. Okay. Uh, so now we can go cd into tworlds. Now we are in the tworlds source code and let's get started compiling with bam. So type in dot dot for the parent directory. So we are currently in the tworlds directory and if we type in dot dot that's for the parent directory 
which is this directory. And in this directory, there's the BAM directory. So we can type in slash BAM, um, same, same command here, use the tab key to autocomplete, make sure that the path actually exists. And then BAM again, which is the binary we just uh, compiled, which is the build system. And then enter. This will execute the BAM build system in the current directory, which is the T-World source code. And uh, the BAM build system will find all the C++ files, as you can see here it needs, and then compose a binary out of it. This is not a fully working app yet. This is just a binary you can launch from the command line. Um, but yeah, I would show creating a full app in the end as well. Okay, so we can ls now and it created a directory build. So we can cd into build and then it, there's the architecture. So cd into uh, x86 and then cd into debug, which is the default configuration um, ls. And there we have the tworld server and the tworld uh, client. So type in dot slash tworlds and this will okay this will start your tworlds client yikes let me out of here jesus christ okay so that worked uh, same with the tworld server dot slash tworld server and this is now running a server all right control c to kill the server again um okay so let's go to the desktop again yeah, so let's go into the TWIT source code again. By default, the BAM build system, as you saw, uses a debug version. Uh, the debug version is useful for debugging, but it runs faster if you use a release version. So if you want to create a release of TWIT, you just type in conf and equals release after BAM, after BAM and then it will compile in release mode. We can do that real quick. And this will, yeah, work pretty much the same. But uh, if you share your uh, application in the end, it should be in release mode due to uh, performance reasons. And in the debug version, is it helps you when the, when the application crashes then it can tell you the line which uh, in which it crashed. Okay, so this time we are going to use the U UI here. Go into the build folder and as you can see, we have a debug and a release here now. And there are the applications. You can also double click those and then start them. Okay, cool. So this is how you compile TWIRLS with BAM, BAM build system. In case that didn't work or you're using a modification of TWIRLS that dropped the BAM support, I'm going to show you the CMake, um, CMake build system now. Okay, so let's see, where are we? We are in the TWIRLS source code. So first of all, um, let's delete the build folder that was created by BAM and type in rm-rf for RM stands for remove and dash RF are the arguments for recursive and force. So this will delete this whole folder and it's uh, disappeared now. Um, okay, so then we are going to recreate it. MKD build and then we are going to CD change directory into the build directory. And we then type in CMake to see if CMake is installed. All right, that's installed. If that isn't installed, type in brew install CMake, which we already did, but yeah, just in case. Okay, so then we are going to use CMake dot dot. And dot dot, as I explained already, is going to look at the parent directory, um, which in this case is the source directory, and there it will find CMake lists, and then it will read the CMake lists and then compile the, the thing. And BAM reads the BAM.lua and the configure.lua. So just that you know that. Okay. Also config.lua is for BAM. Alrighty. Then we are going to type in CMake. I just PWD again. So we are in the build directory that is in the TWIRLD source code. Just that you know. Okay. Then type in CMake dot dot. <coughs> and this will create the CMake files that you 
then can use to run make on and make is actually then compiling it. CMake is just preparing it. Okay, so um, type in make and you're done. Uh, oh, it should say build files have been written and no errors here. Make sure this all worked. Um, okay, so make by default only uses one core. BAM uses all of them. So running make is pretty slow. Um, you can type in make dash J and then the amount of cores you have. If you don't know how many CPU cores you have, there's this super long command to find it out. It's sys ctl space dash n uh, space hw dot n cpu. And in my case, it's eight. Um, there's also this nice uh, tool that is a task manager likey thing. Uh, you can install it with brew install htop and this is faster like less annoying to type and there you can also see the amount of cores and you can see here it's eight uh, just as an alternative it's a cool tool anyways all right um so that now that we know how many cores this machine has we can type in make this j and the amount of cores in my case eight uh, as i already said only make also works it's just eight times slower about eight times slower in my case now okay so this will compile the thing as you can see all going fine so far all green that's good and linking keywords build target keywords everything fine 100 percent and finished cool so we can type in ls and as you can see, we have our TWords client here and our TWords server here. So same procedure dot slash TWords to start the TWords client. Everything worked. Um, I'm not going to show the server here. Um, so this is by default compiling in release mode uh, in opposite to BAM, which is default uh, debug mode. If we want to compile uh, debug mode with CMake, type in CMake. Uh, dot dot and then dash all capital letters d c make whoops c make underscore build underscore type equals then debug and then execute that again and then type in make dash j8 again and it will recompile and now you have the debug version so that you know how to compile debug and release with bam and c make um Okay, so now those things are just such weird looking XX and we want a real app to create a app out of it. Type in uh, make and then package default. Alrighty, in the case of CMake now. Okay, open dot. And now we have this DMG, that's what you usually have. And there you have your TWords app and your TWords server. All right, so let's go back to the BAM version. RMRF the build folder real quick. And then build with BAM in the configuration release. Now I'm going to show you how to create an app with the BAM build system. Well, I just want to repeat that you don't have to use both build systems. Just pick one that you like uh, or that works better for you or is easier, whatever. Okay, now that this is done, uh, we can cd into the scripts uh, folder and make sure that Python 3 is installed. I think it should be installed. Um, if not, probably brew install Python 3 does the job. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, then type in sudo for super user do. So this command needs a admin account. And then Python 3 uh, to execute Python 3 as super user. And then dot slash make release. Also use tab here to make sure that the script is uh, existing in this directory. Tap in enter to see what arguments the script takes. As you can see, the first argument is the version. This is something we can pick um, 
for example, currently the official TWICE version is something like 0.7.3.1, but for example, this is our custom client, whatever we will call it version one. And then for platform, this is pretty important, choose OS X um, because it will actually search for this string. It's not Mac OS, it's still OS X currently at this point of recording this video, OS X or lowercase. Then it will download dependencies and then do some disk magic and then it says done. If there are no errors, all worked fine. Uh, we are currently in the scripts directory, as you can see, then we go cd dot dot, one up, open our source directory, and here you can see TWILS version one um, that we just created the DMG of. We can open that and the same here. Okay, so those two build systems are developed independently and there might be some difference differences sometimes one works better sometimes the other works better as you can see in the BAM version we have the license the readme and the storage in here in the CMake version this is currently not the case but this is constantly changing um, okay so that's why I showed both ways I hope you learned something and if you have any questions let me know in the comments